Watch right, you guys got a quick news video here for you. Microsoft have made a massive PC e-waste problem when the end of Windows 10 support comes in October 2025. 240 million PCs into the e-waste system will happen once the end of life cycle comes for Windows 10. Now, if we look at the stats count here, for the global stats for Windows users, you can see Windows 10 has a massive 68% still using Windows 10 today in 2023 and going into 2024. Windows 11 has 26.66%. Uh, and also you can still see there is percentage of people still using Windows 7, Windows 8.1, even though these are end of, uh, end of life, and also Windows XP. Now there's been a massive big survey done by this company here. I will leave a link in the video description. They explained that after their big survey, they have found out that 240 million PCs will end up in e-waste uh, during the end of October 2025, which is absolutely unacceptable. Now, of course, this is a really big problem for a lot of people that can't afford a new computer, and this is going to end up with a lot of PCs ending up in landfill. Now, why is this going to be a big problem? Well, of course, that's a lot of computers that uh, we have now got to get rid of, whereas Microsoft have said that with this new Windows 11 system requirements, not only will it add more added security, as they claim, it will also entice people to buy more computers, newer computers to run the Windows 11. But as you can see, more people are still using Windows 10 rather than using Windows 11. A majority of these are on older, unsupported hardware. Now, people have claimed that Windows 10 works perfectly fine on their old computer, and they've even installed Windows 11 on it and said it works perfectly fine with Windows 11 installed. So what gives? It's just the fact that Microsoft are trying to force people to buy new computers, and this is what's happened. So now you're going to end up with a lot of charitable donations of these discarded PCs during the end of life which is going to be pointless because they won't have no support and people are not going to be able to do anything with them. So what do we do with these PCs? We either bury them in landfill or we send them off to countries like India and Nigeria and places like that where they will then uh, break the components down with acid and other nasty uh, toxin products and try to get the silver, gold and aluminium, copper and all that stuff out of it. And then obviously... All of this stuff will get seeped into the ground and also into the atmosphere. And it also ends up in rivers and into the Ganges, which then causes massive pollutants into the Ganges, which is a common problem. And I know UK send massive shipments of containers full of e-waste. Another thing is, again, all of your inbuilt antivirus program like Windows Defender and also all of your browsers and software, companies will cease to support this. And of course, these will become end of life as well because they won't be getting any security updates. And that means it's a massive vulnerability for people that continue to use these operating systems in the foreseeable future on a unsupported hardware. Now, Microsoft have also said they will offer security updates at a cost for another three more years. Of course, a lot of people are not going to be paying for this particular service. And again, uh, if it is offered to the home user, it's going to be probably too expensive and a lot of people won't want to pay for it. So these are the big problems that Microsoft are causing for themselves and the world by using this unsupported hardware policy. It's not acceptable and something needs to give and they need to start reconsidering what they're actually doing because there's a lot of serviceable computers out there which are going to be basically just adding to the e-waste problem that we already have. We live in a throwaway society today where stuff is still serviceable and still usable and we seem to want to get rid of it and buy new all the time and we're having to have issues like break this stuff down and get rid of it and it's not as easy as it sounds. Anyway, I hope Microsoft rethink what they're doing here because there is going to be a big problem in the foreseeable future if we continue down this uh, throwaway society where we deem a lot of these computers are useless in the modern age uh, when they still might have a few more years in them yet. 
Anyway, with that said, just a quick short news video for you. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description. My name is Ben Bryan from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you had a lovely Christmas. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.